Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the new cosmetics released from the Legend of the Veil update, and some of the new things that were just released with a tiny little update and some bug fixes. And I'm not gonna go for the bug fixes, but I am gonna be showing you guys what cosmetics and how to obtain them. So let's get straight into that. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is come over to Legendary Do, and then browse his stock. And then what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down a little bit and you'll see this new tab with the Servant of the Flame Cutlass, Ancient Eye of Reach, Ancient Blunderboss, Ancient Flintlock, and ancient cutlass. Then you'll also see the servant of the flame hat with the pirate lord peg leg with the legendary fortune eye of reach, legendary fortune pistol, legendary fortune cutlass, and legendary fortune one. If you go to the next page you'll see the dark adventure tattoo and I think they added some new hair dyes. I'm not 100% sure but it does look like they added a little bit more. I could be wrong but I did not see those. Here I'll talk about the new cosmetics released with the Dark Adventure tattoo as well which is called the Eastern Winds Jade set. Hope I said that right but basically I'm going to be showing you those so you're just going to scroll all the way down and this is for inside the outfit shop and you'll see the Eastern Winds Jade cosmetics and I'm just gonna quickly go through them. Obviously, you could hop in the game yourself, take a deeper look into them. I didn't buy everything because I didn't like everything with this set. I only bought the stuff that I liked about it. And now I'm gonna be making my way over to the gunsmith, which you're gonna wanna browse your stocks, scroll all the way down, and you'll see the Eye of Reach requires a accommodation if that's why it's locked, if you didn't see that. It's called Generous Giving for Many. I'll be going over all the combinations to unlock the stuff I've mentioned earlier with the Athena stuff. In the equipment shop, we're gonna keep scrolling down. It's not all the way at the bottom like all the other shops. It's kinda in the middle between underneath the barnacled stuff. And as you can see, it requires the same combination for the Eye of Reach, which, like I said, I'll be going over. Now for the shipwright, they, uh, if you scroll all the way down, they have the Eastern Winds Jade ship set as well. Then again, I didn't buy everything because I only bought the stuff that I liked. And if you're wondering why, I only have 60,000 coins because I spent all my money that I made on Community Day on Dark Adventure items, which I regret. I said that's wrong. Oop. Anyways, uh, yeah, I spent it all. I also got bullshitted and I didn't get any of my Athena reps, sadly. Alright, now I'm gonna go over the accommodations that are required to unlock the cosmetics that I showcased here. So, let's get straight into that. Alright, so we're gonna wanna go to your pirate log, go reputation, build traps, and then we're gonna go to mercenary voyages, and then make your way down to generous giving for many. And you'll have to deliver 25 generous gifts to the Reaper's hideout. And this one I haven't completed, sadly, because when I get gifts in the game, I sadly don't bother selling them because I never really knew what if they're really worth much, but now I do. And in order to obtain these gifts, you could get them from doing skeleton forts and from just getting them randomly from digging up treasure. All right, let's go back and then go to Athena's Fortune, click on it, and then go to Accommodations, click on it, and then start scrolling down and you'll see these new accommodations. Now, we're gonna wanna go to Master Banisher and this one will, I think, get you the Reaper Sword. And for this one, you have to dispel Haunted Islands. And you do that by talking to Belle during the new Legend of the Veil voyages. And it does, I don't know what island it's going to be at, but whatever island it tells. Demolition plan is when you defeat the final Phantom Fort. And then that is what will end your voyage. That is what it's talking about. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy this and you found it helpful, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Comment down below what my next video should be. 
I also stream on the weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, don't forget to join the Discord, follow the Twitter, um, so you stay up to date.